Hello and welcome to BMC Video Solutions. In this video, we will demonstrate how to configure the digital signature in the delivery server application. This video will include configuring the mainframe side as well. In all cases except one, the digital signature is added by the click report that's located in the delivery server application. The exception is the normalized report, which requires the click report located in the mainframe. It is important to know that the digital signature can only be used on PDF reports, which means that any report that requires the digital signature feature must be transformed to PDF. I have created a flowchart that will explain the two configuration options. The first thing the digital signature process needs to know, is this a normalized report? If the answer is yes, it means that the click report being used is configured in the mainframe. The definition of the report click is done in the do screen. After defining the report click, an existing normalized report will require ridiculation. The reason for this is that after the report goes through the normalization process, the report must take the mainframe resources to the delivery server, which includes the report click. The question of which report click is selected is defined in the deculation mission in screen R. Therefore, an existing normalized report will need redeculating to update the new digital signature parameters into the report. Only after the previous flow is completed, the normalized report can be viewed with the digital signature. If the answer was no to the normalized report question, it means that the report click being used is configured in the delivery server. After configuring the click report in the delivery server, it needs also to be defined in the mainframe using the CTDS panel. This is the correct syntax. Only after the previous flow is completed, all reports that are not normalized can be viewed with the digital signature. In this video, I will perform a demonstration of the two configuration options, starting with the mainframe using a normalized report and conclude with the delivery server configuration. In this part of the video, I will do the AFP to PDF transformation with the digital signature. However, before this can be done, I will need to add the digital signature parameters to the click report of the original format of the report, which in this case is AFP. Let's begin by navigating to the click report by typing do on the option line. In the Ctrl D object entry panel, select option one report clicks and press enter. In the Ctrl D report clicks entry panel, use the filter to navigate to the click reports which you wish to edit and press enter. Enter the click report. In the report click, perform a search using the keyword SIG to find all the parameters of the digital signature. Add the digital signature parameters. Change from no to yes the first parameter called digital sign for this report. In the second parameter called digital sign key store file, type the path to the JKS or PKCS12 key store file located in the delivery server. In this video, I will use the JKS. If the PKCS12 is used, change the key store type accordingly. Note, there are two ways to type the path, full path, short path. I will use the short path. The last parameter is the key store password. Exit and save the click report. To demonstrate the success of configuring the digital signature, I have redeculated a report to activate the digital signature. To complete the demonstration, I will print out a report via the email using transformation to PDF to show the digital signature in action. 
This is the email I received after transforming the report to PDF. Let's click and open to view the digital signature. After opening the PDF report, a blue ribbon is viewed at the top of the report with the signature panel. This signifies the success of the configuration of the digital signature. Before moving on to the delivery server configuration, I would like to clarify the fact that I started with a normalized AFP report and ended up with a PDF report that was signed by the digital signature. Furthermore, I should highlight the fact that all configurations for the normalized report were done in the mainframe without any configurations in the delivery server. So let's start the second part of this tutorial by moving to the desktop and opening the delivery server application. Click on the root folder on the left hand side and expand it and navigate to the following path. Select definitions common, report click, report click root, and double click on the AFP report clicks. On the right hand side of the panel, the default AFP click is now visible. You can either use the default click or create another one. In this video, I will create a new report click. To do this, right click on the default AFP click and select Duplicate. In the newly opened window, use the arrow to locate the PDF Rendering Parameters tab. Scroll down and locate all the digital signature parameters. Scroll down to the parameter digital sign for this report and change it from No to Yes. The next parameter is the keystore file, which requires the path to the JKS file. A user can choose between two possibilities, either enter the full path or the short path version. We will use the short path version in this video. The next parameter is the keystore type. There are only two parameters to choose from the JKS file and the PKCS12 file. In this video, we will stay with the default value. However, if the PKCS12 is chosen, then the keystore file parameter must be updated. The next parameter is the keystore password, which should be supplied by the system administrator. Enter the password and move to the next parameter is the hash algorithm. A user can select any algorithm from the combo box to work with. For this video, we will use the default value supplied to us. Click OK and exit. To confirm the success of the digital signature configuration for an AFP click report, I will return to the mainframe to select an AFP report that was not normalized and send it to the delivery server via the CTDS panel. Note that for each format, a user will need to configure the click report to support the digital signature. In the use screen, type P next to the AFP report to open the CTDS panel. Select option one, immediate printing, and in the desk field, type CTDS and press enter. In the Control D external destination panel, I have already created an email destination entry. Before selecting the destination, let's review the syntax by typing A next to the entry. It does not matter if the destination is an email or file system, a user must define the click report to be used in the delivery server including transforming the document to PDF. Select the destination entry by typing S next to it and press Enter. This is the email I received with the attached document, which has a blue ribbon with the signature panel icon on top. 
which signifies the success of the digital signature configuration. That concludes this Ctrl D solution video. Please see our knowledge-based YouTube channel for more videos like this.